Betty's best mix of the 90s to now, 107.5 Cool FM. It's your weekend warm-up, 8 o'clock. I'm Simon, joined now by Sean Desmond. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us, Sean. Absolutely, my pleasure, finally, huh? I know you and I have chatted online through Twitter and blog posts, but I think having you on air tonight is actually going to be a really good opportunity for you and I to set the record straight for everyone that we're not actually frenemies. There isn't any bad feeling between us. Absolutely not. If anything, it's like a little, it's like a little lover's quarrel we got going on or something. You know what? I think we can settle it right now. <laughs> if you'll just admit that I'm a better dancer than you and that my attention to detail when it comes to manscaping is much more precise, I think we can move on from this lover's quarrel. Okay, well, I got... Okay, maybe the manscaping, but the dancing, I think I got to take that one. If we can agree on that, then I think we're good. All right. Right, fine, I'll compromise with you. <laughs> now, it's been an incredible 12 months for you. The past 12 months have been awesome. Congratulations on all of your successes so far with Fresh. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, I, it's really just a blessing to be able to do what I love to do so much and like to be, just to be successful and to have people, you know, after not making a record for five years, to still have the diehard fans to still be able to make music that people love and people dance to and just to be embraced again. You know what I mean? It's awesome. It's and awesome. that's the thing. You've managed to maintain relevancy even after that long hiatus. You come back and then go home with video of the year at last month's MMVAs for Electric Night Like This. Yes. it's. I mean, I'm still like in awe. I still don't believe it happened, which which is crazy. Yeah, and um, it's, it, it's again, it's just so amazing, man. Like you said, to still be relevant. You know what I mean? Um, and I think it, what it is, is it's the, it's the music and the music speaks for itself. You know, what I mean and I always try to make great great music and hence I take my time to do it you know I don't like to rush anything and um, rush just to put something out just because I'm hot right now and I got to do it you know I needed time to just go and be inspired and like live a little bit and because I, I mean I write when I write my music I'm writing from like real life stuff so I, I you know I needed to go live a little bit and it definitely comes through that your music has developed and evolved the same way as you've matured over the years Say again, sorry? <laughs> I was like, oh, he's hung up on me, great. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm on myself. So We're back to being out. frenemies, that's it. <laughs> No, I'm just saying it's awesome that your music has developed and the sounds evolved the same way you have in your own life and it really comes through. So kudos to you for making oh, that no, happen. Absolutely. And I mean, the thing is, like, I try when I'm making a record, too, I try not to repeat myself. You know what I mean? I try to do something different every time. Like, if you listen to my first record in comparison to my second record, they're totally different. Now, if you listen to my second record, my second record in comparison to Fresh totally different you know what i mean and I, I i tend to not like to follow trends of what people do, are doing and kind of like to start my own trend and kind of try and be fresh and creative and i mean no you know no pun intended on the word fresh but like just to, <laughs> just to be creative and to be original i think is the best word you know what i mean well um, definitely original i mean i yeah i have to admit i did get my make out onto shook when it first came out nice <laughs> so thank you for that actually thank you Absolutely. Sean. absolutely anytime anytime i can help you climbing that, <laughs> that's how we do it okay so paint the picture for us after last month's MMVAs you have the big win of the night how did you celebrate after the awards were over to be honest man and this is going to sound really like cheesy and corny I had a flight the next morning to Vancouver like early early in the morning I mean so I went I popped by the Universal Music Party literally for half an hour had a glass of champagne with the crew and, and I went home and I went to sleep man so you're trying to tell us right now that you didn't go out with your MMVA in hand and pee on the office building of the Juno Awards. I, 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 <laughs> I love it. I would never do that anyways. I mean, I, I have thought about it. Can't, I can't lie. Um, but to be, and to be honest, the other thing is they don't actually give you the award. The award that you they present you on stage is like a fake, and they actually send you your award afterwards. I call shenanigans. That's terrible. I know, right? It's crazy because I'm walking, you know, I, they give me the award. I'm like, hey, thank you. This is great. Blah, blah, blah. And, you know, they go to commercial. I'm walking off stage. Like, oh, no, you got to give that back. I'm like, what are you talking about? I got to give it back. This is, this is my award. And then I look at it and <laughs> totally a fake. So. Back off. We have to give it to Beaver. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I'm not sure that I totally believe you on the fact that you didn't go out and uh, pee on the building of the Junos. But <laughs> that absolute high of the MMVA is definitely a lot different to the news. Of course, we're talking about the fact that you were snubbed at the Junos this year. What was your reaction to that? <sighs> I mean, I got to be honest, man, you know, this year, I mean, you know, the awards are awards. I mean, I don't make music for the awards and to win awards and whatever, but I can't, I got to say and be honest that it feels good to be recognized to, you know, for the things that you do and the hard work and blood, sweat and tears that you put into something, you know, and Shiver Night Like This and Electric have been my biggest records to date. So, you know, I'm thinking myself that, oh my God, I got to get at least one nomination. I mean, I've been nominated in the past. 
And, you know, being that these records are my biggest records, I can't see how I'm not going to be nominated. And then the morning of comes comes along, and I'm, I'm keeping track online of what's going on and trying, you know, getting updates and stuff. And I'm not nominated for an award. And I mean, you know, I'd be I'd be lying to you, Simon, if I said I wasn't upset. I mean, obviously I'm upset. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Life goes on. You know, the Juno Awards happen every year, and uh, you know, there, there'll always be next year. So I think we should just boycott next year. <laughs> Yeah, right. Gonna storm it down. <laughs> Screw you, Juno Awards. Yeah, exactly. We'll be back to talk more with Sean Desmond in just a moment. Right now, it's Electric on Betty's 107.5 Cool FM. Betty's best mix of the 90s to now, 107.5 Cool FM, Sean Desmond Electric. And we're joined by Sean right now, talking about your latest album, Fresh. And what a lot of our listeners and your fans may not know is that you're heavily involved in many areas of the album's creation, including the musical arrangements and songwriting. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm involved in everything, man. I mean, this is the first record that I actually co-produced the whole record and co-wrote the whole record. Um, you know, I, this is what I do. You know, I do this on, you know, what I, this is what I do for a living. I write music. I sing. I produce music. You know, I'm, I'm also developing my own acts right now. Um, something else that I have going on is, I don't know if you know, but I have Nick Carter's first single that's out right now called Love Can't Wait, which I produced and co-wrote with Nick. Yeah, I actually um, gave that spin a couple of weeks ago and it made me ponder the question, how did you become BFFs with a BSB? Oh, well, I mean, last last summer I was on tour with them and you know, the last day, I remember the last day of tour, we all went out and kind of celebrated and uh, Nick came up to me, you know, and, uh, during the party and was like, hey man, you know, I really love your stuff. That song Shiver is killer. You know, I w- I'm, I'm doing a solo record. I would love for you to work on it, to write with me and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hell yeah. I mean, let's do it. So he flew me out to, um, he has a house in Nashville and we went there and we worked and I stayed there and we, we had a blast, man. And Nick is actually super, you know, the whole, the, all the guys are super, super cool. I mean, but Nick is like awesome, man. So we've become really good friends. Um, I was literally just in, ba- sorry, in uh, LA a couple of weeks ago because he shot the video for the single and I hit and they flew me down to do a little cameo in the video so that was cool so okay I get it so you're in this BFF with uh, Nick Carter because he gives you a lot of free flights free holidays Absol- for Sean Desmond absolutely <laughs> I gotta get myself a BSB on my Twitter page I love it of course we were talking about you being heavily involved with the songwriting of the album I mean it's just a testament to your talent that you are so heavily involved with its creation and being a songwriter on Fresh there were a couple of lyrics I didn't really understand the meaning of okay it's probably because I'm not very smart (laughs) <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. There's, you know, some stuff you just don't understand. Well, maybe I would say that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, I'm hoping I can maybe get a little bit of uh, behind-the-music insight from you. All right, shoot. On the song Quickie, mm-hmm. you wrote the lyrics, Uh-oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Shorty's getting ready to go, oh, oh. What mm-hmm. exactly do you mean? I mean, I think in that part, we're talking about, because we're in, uh, in, in the song, I think the setting is we're in a club, and singing, uh, 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 oh, shorty's getting ready to go, oh, oh. I, I mean, it's just basically like, you know, we're in the club and we're getting ready to go and... Uh, I think my mind went somewhere else. I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> oh, I got it. Come on, Simon. That's gross. I would never write about that. <laughs> never at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe on to something a little safer, your new music video. It's another double feature this time for the songs yeah. Money Shot and Something Stupid. Seriously, one of your best music videos today. I have to say that first and foremost. Oh, and thank you, man. Thank just an you. outstanding video in general. Thank you, thank you. Don't want to give too much away because it's something you really have to watch without any spoilers. Mm-hmm. But why don't you tell us a little bit about how you came to be working with Much Music's Phoebe Dykstra and where the concept of the music video came from? You know... I've, I've hosted um, New Music Live, the show that Phoebe hosts. I've co-hosted with her a bunch of times, and we've become really, really good friends. And so we decide that we're going with Money Shot as the next single, and we're going to do another double video. So I decide I want something stupid to be attached to the video, just because I think the song is great, um, and it gives people to, ne- to hear, you know, the chance to hear a song that might ne- not necessarily be a single, but it's still a great song. So, you know, I hand in the, the, the songs to RT, which is the video director, who I won video of the year with, with Electric Night Like This. I've worked with RT since Red Hair. So every video after Red Hair has been RT. So, I, you know, I, I hand in the songs to RT and I say basically, you know, this is, here are the two songs, what do you think? Like, go and vibe with it. And he comes back with this concept and I'm like, this is great. And then I, th- I think to myself, I got the gr- I got the perfect girl for this. Um, and if you know Phoebe, she's kind of, she's a sweetheart. 
but she's a little cuckoo sometimes. <laughs> and she kind of, I mean, if you watch, I mean, I'm not, I, like you said, I don't want to give too, too much away because you got to watch the video, but she totally fits the role. Like, totally, totally perfect, perfect fits the role that she plays. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go watch the video. It's seriously outstanding. And I posted it up on my blog, 1075coolfm.com. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it immediately for sure. Yeah. It's awesome. Now, who's next on your list of artists to work with? We've talked about Nick Carter. Who else are you going to be working with? Oh, I have a song on Kreisha Turner's new album, which I think is going to be her third single. Um, I have this group that I'm working with, which I'm really excited because this is going to be like my kind of my baby. Um, they're called The Switch. You can actually look them up on Facebook. They're called The Switch. It's four guys. They're like a pop rock group. So incredibly talented. The songs are amazing. Um, I think there's like a teaser vid up on there right now just kind of to get what, you know, what they do and what they sound like. So I'm working on that. And really that's like my main focus right now because I want to I get that record out as soon as possible. You know, and I'm going to be working on my new record like probably in the fall. I probably do one more tour, uh, headlining tour in the fall, and then I'll call it quits for this album and, and start working on the new project. So... We're chatting with Sean Desmond. We'll wrap things up in just a moment right now. Night Like This on Betty's Best Mix of the 90s to Now, 107.5 Cool FM. Oh, yeah, baby, baby. Betty's Best Mix of the 90s to Now, 107.5 Cool FM. Sean Desmond, Night Like This. It's Simon on your weekend warm-up chatting with Sean Desmond at the moment. We were just talking about some of your collaborations with Krisha Turner. You've also worked with your brother Danny. Feel it? I have. We have a single out called Feel It right now and a video out right now so, you know, request that as well. Um, Yeah, I mean, it was great to work with Danny. I mean, we'd always said we were going to do something together. It was about finding the right song, you know, because it's it's tough for two guys to come together and do a song because it's got to... Uh, it can come off a little corny, you know what I mean? So it's, it's about finding the right thing. And, uh, you know, when I wrote and, and produced Feel It, I was like, ah, I think this could be the song. And so we went in, did it, and, you know, I think it sounds amazing. So Oh, completely. And as brothers, like you said, you got to watch how it can come across as completely cheesy when it's two family Absolutely. members standing up there. You did a great job of going around that whole minefield. Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. And now we've got your little cousin Tyler making his way into the industry. I know. It's great. And then it's my, actually, my dog, Tux, is next. We, have, we got him a record deal. <laughs> well, I, I've got a quick qu- <laughs> I got a question for you on this, and you have to answer me honestly. Okay. Is there just a Fernandez family puppy mill that works day and night to produce Canadian heartthrobs? Is that what's happening here? Um, it, 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 you know, to be honest, Danny's thing came by surprise to me, and then Tyler's thing came by surprise. I had no idea. Like, I just find out one day that Tyler has a record deal, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, that's cool. Like, it's, it's weird how all this stuff happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, yeah, I don't know what it is with the Fernandez, the Fernandez clan. We're just, uh, I guess we're a bunch of good-looking, talented boys, I guess you'd want, you'd say. And that's the problem, all you Fernandez <laughs> boys running around. It makes it super hard for a dude like me to get a date. I was just going to say, we're stealing all the talent. We're getting all the talent, huh? We're stealing yeah. all the talent. But I have been working on my Sean Desmond-isms to try and nice. impress the ladies. Am I saying these correctly? Okay, go ahead. Brap. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> what is brap? Brap is like after you do something that's good and it's like, yeah, that's great. Yo, brap, 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 brap. It's like a Jamaican slang thing. Okay, okay. I didn't realize you were part Jamaican. I thought it was just Portuguese. Yeah, I'm actually just faking. (laughs) Just faking, okay. I like that. Also, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You know, that's just, you know, after somebody says something cool and and I agree, I just, you know, like, yeah, boy, with the E, 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 E. Yeah, yeah. And then your latest one today was Tonk's brother. You're, you're like incredible. You're totally lurking my tweet. By incredible, you mean so kind punk, of stalkerish. Punk, brother, is basically thanks. I got a new one, but I, I can't say it on the air. It's, it's not appropriate. I'll tell you off the air, Simon. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, you mentioned you're going to be doing a tour in the fall. Can we expect you in Barry? I would friggin' hope so, to be honest. I mean, I haven't been to Barry since the Waterfront Festival, which was last May. Um, so hopefully we're going to be hitting Barry and North Bay and uh, Thunder Bay, all those places up there. I mean, I would love to come up to Barry. It was a great show last year in the summertime. So, I mean, I don't know what it's like up in the fall, but I'm sure, you know, we can find a venue and, you know, head inside and make it hot in there. So Hopefully you make that happen. Absolutely. And then next time I'm there, we got to do the face-to-face thing. Well, this is the thing. you got to promise me that if you come into town, you have to show me a couple of these dance moves that make the ladies swoon. Absolutely. My word as a man. I promise in exchange, I will teach you the infamous Scottish grind. Yes. I was hoping you were going to say that, Simon. I just... <laughs> I need some Scottish grind in my life. Oh, you don't know what you're letting yourself in for. (laughs) 
Sean, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us. Dude, it's my pleasure. Anytime.